Hey, welcome back. This is another exciting episode of Mr. Takeda Teaches Algebra. I'm your host, Mr. Takeda, and I'm going to teach you some algebra right now. I mean math. I'm sorry. It's going to feel like algebra, though. That's okay. This is lesson 5.3 on writing proportions. And this is actually a little bit of algebra here. I'm pretty excited. The, the, the essential question here is how can you write a proportion that solves a problem in real life? See, this is solve. That means we're solving, a, we're solving an equation, and that means algebra. Okay, so first off, our first example here. So we know, uh, just a little review, we know that, uh, here's what we know. We know that a proportion says that two ratios are equal, right? That's the big idea here. And we're going to use this idea to answer these questions. A chef increases the amount of ingredients in a recipe to make a proportional recipe, right? It's going to be, everything's going to be in proportion. So it's going to yeah, be like more, but it's going to taste the same. The new recipe has six cups of black beans. Write a proportion that gives the number of X of tomatoes in the new recipe. Okay. So... Uh, I'm going to say black beans compared to tomatoes. And that works upside down too. It's up to you how you want to do it. But uh, in the original recipe, there's 1.5 cups of black beans compared to one tomato. All right. Now in the new recipe, the new recipe has six cups of black beans. Where does that go? That goes on the top. Black beans on top. And we and X is the number of tomatoes in the new one. All right. So we're going to use cross products here. So I'm going to say 1.5 times X, and we're going to just write that as 1.5 x when you see a number next to a uh, variable that just means we're multiplying 1.5 x and that's going to be equal to 6 times 1 which is 6 um let tell you what i'm going to actually show those two things here right 6 times 1 1.5 times x equals 6 times 1 and then i'm going to simplify to 1.5 x equals 6 now we have an equation. This goes back to chapter three, I believe, before we were together. And in this case, since I, I want to undo the multiplication of 1.5 to x, I'm going to divide both sides by 1.5. I should actually say I'm, I'm going to divide the left side by 1.5, and that means I have to do the same thing on the other, so the right side also gets divided by 1.5. Okay. So 1.5 divided by 1.5 is just a 1, so that leaves x. 6 divided by 1.5, that's 4. That's 4. So the answer is 4 tomatoes. Okay, so this is using cross products. And I think it's really important to write out your write out your relationship first, so you know where to put your numbers as you're filling them in. Try this one, okay? So in this one, here's the same recipe, but uh, I think it's a different uh, different time they're cooking it, so we have a different uh, relationship here now. Uh, the new recipe is three cups of salsa, all right? But they want to know how much water that's going to give in the new recipe. Okay, so go ahead and give that a try, and I will join you on the next screen. Okay, solving proportions using mental math. I'm going to rewrite this problem a little bit, a little bit bigger here. Since proportions say that two things are equal, they're essentially what? They're essentially equivalent fractions. Okay, so I said they look like fractions, sometimes they act like fractions, but they aren't really fractions because fractions always compare part to a whole. But these are just comparing two numbers, but they act like fractions. So using mental math here, what can we, what can we determine in the relationship between the 
two denominators here, two and eight. Well, I know two times four will get me um, eight. So using that same kind of logic, three times four is gonna get me 12. So three halves equals 12 eighths, so x equals 12. That one's pretty easy. Hopefully you understand uh, equivalent fractions that well in order to be able to do that. Try this one, we'll call this one 2t for the purposes of uh, the pod answers at the end. The other previous example, of course, was 1t if, if I forgot to mention that. So try this one using mental math if you can. If you can't, well, that's okay. You know, these problems aren't worth much in terms of your grade. Example three, solving proportions using mental math. Okay, so this one's kind of, uh, kind of the same here. Uh, a chef increases the amount of ingredients in a recipe to make a proportional recipe again. Six cups of black beans. And um, so this is kind of the same, this is the same question as the first one, right? So um, six cups of black beans, put beans to tomatoes, to one tomato. And that's going to be equal to uh, X tomatoes and um, oops, I'm sorry, I did this wrong. I'm going to, I don't want to start the video again. The original recipe had 1.5 and the new recipe has six. I'm sorry. So if you, if you look at this here, 1.5 times what is six? 1.5 times four is six. So I know that you know, mentally, I know one times four is four, so it should be four tomatoes for every uh, six uh, cans of, uh, six cups of black beans. Okay, so there's that one. I, and I, know, I know it's supposed to be mentally, but uh, I can't show mental on a video. That would be weird. Uh, see if you can do this one. A chef increases, okay, so now again, the recipe, uh, the new recipe is six cups of black beans. They want to know how much water is in the new recipe and see if you can do it mentally. And if you can't, that's okay. Um, let's try it. And that's the end of this video, just those problems. But it was really important stuff, cross products, setting problems up, and we'll practice this a lot in class. And thanks a lot. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.